This is gonna be a whopper of a video. I have so much to share with you all, so much that I have it written on two pieces of paper. I don't wanna forget anything because this is a follow-up video to all of the 23 videos that I posted during the month of October for Vlogtober. Over the course of all of those 23 videos, you all asked me so many questions. And so in this video, I'm gonna answer every single one of your questions, plus, plus, stay to the end of the video because I have what I consider the biggest news that I have ever shared on my YouTube channel and the biggest news possibly of my life. So I'm gonna share that with you at the end. But let's get going with the follow-up to Vlogtober. So I thought the best way to do this was just start with the first video that I posted on October 1st and kind of go in order and answer all of your questions. So the first video that came out on October 1st was when Brecken and I went to the Magpie Market Days, which was an outdoor vintage market. We had so much fun. And I wanted to show you Okay, just so you know, Pollux has a new spider that he got for Halloween. Show us your spider, Pollux. Say hey, everybody. What's your spider? Can we hear him grunt? Can we see him? He's a big, yeah, he's a big old spider. He's as big as Pollux, and he grunts like this. <coughs> right, buddy? So you all saw everything that I bought at the market, but I think my favorite thing that I bought, favorite, favorite, was those little ornamental peppers that I put on my front porch. So those peppers have now been sitting there for a full month. They need a lot of water, and I did not know that about peppers. They have grown so big, and this is what my peppers look like today. The peppers are so happy and bright red, and they just make me smile every time I come out the door. This one has gotten really shaggy kind of hairy and shaggy, but it's still adorable. And Brecken and I are also going to the same market, but it's the holiday version of that market. It's coming up in November, so I'll do a video while we're there. And I'm so excited because I need some holiday things. I'm completely redecorating and rethinking all of my holiday decorations, my Christmas tree decorations, and I need things. So that's coming up in a couple weeks. My second video for Vlogtober was about me going to the doctor. I said turning 50 has sucked and it really has sucked, but I wanted to give you an update on the new medication that my doctor gave me. She gave me samples of it for my uterine fibroid. I have been on the medication for four and a half weeks as of today. I have not had a single side effect. Nothing. And I told my husband that very first night when I had that very first pill in my hand, I said, I'm just afraid that I'm gonna swallow this pill and I'm gonna wake up with horns or something. I was so scared. But apparently my worries were unfounded. I have had not a single side effect, except I have been having bad dreams at night. I, and I'm somebody that normally doesn't dream or if I do dream, I don't remember it. But since I started taking the My Fembry pill, I've had bad dreams. I was taking the pill at night about a week and a half ago. I've moved the pill to the morning with my breakfast. I'm not having bad dreams anymore, like nightmares, but I'm still having dreams, which is unusual for me. But if that is the only side effect so far, I'll take it. I was on the MyFembry for nine days and I started my period. My period was exactly the same. I don't think that my fembry had time to do anything, you know, in my body in nine days. So I'm waiting on my next period, so I'll keep you posted. But so far, so good. I took you to the grand opening of a haunted house in downtown Paducah, which happens to be next door to my ice cream shop. Several of you have written me comments and said that you were coming to Paducah or you did come to Paducah. I had two of you all visit me at Craven the Girls just last week, but you all tried to get into Stella's because you wanted to eat there because the food looks so good in my video. I'm hearing Stella's is completely booked. They have gone on reservation only and they're booked out for like the next three weeks which is absolutely nuts. So if you're coming to Paducah and you're gonna try Stella's, just know that, call in advance, try to get a reservation. Maybe it'll ease up in the future, I'm not sure, but for now, Stella's is pretty hard to get into. 
So I did several cooking videos during the month of October. The meatballs and ricotta video, I think was probably the most popular. Y'all, that Caesar salad dressing, if you have not made it, trust me and just make it. It is so easy and it is so good and you'll never buy bottled Caesar salad dressing again. Something happened right before I filmed that video. A huge flub up. I think I'm losing my mind sometimes. And I filmed a very special video and released it on my channel, but it was only for my channel members. Those wonderful folks that pay a monthly subscription to get behind the scenes content from me. They're the ones that got to see that video. And one of my members, PLM, commented on that video because there was a whole thing about a lemon. But she said, when life sucks, and stupid things happen and we lose our minds and we do the dumbest of things, which is absolutely what I did. She said, let's use the lemon emoji. And I thought that was the most fantastic idea. So if you're a channel member, check your available member emojis because I have created a very special lemon emoji just for you all. If you're a channel subscriber, just use the regular old lemon emoji, but use it when you just want to say, Sometimes life sucks. That's what that lemon emoji is for. And on the whole low carb eating thing, I'm still doing it. I've lost almost 12 pounds to date. The intermittent fasting combined with the low carbs, I'm killing it y'all, killing it. However, there are some meals that I just eat that are not low carb. Yeah, it's just, I, sometimes I just don't eat low carb. Some meals, some foods, I just eat what I want to, but I'm still losing weight and it's working for me, so I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. In my fall decorate with me video where I redid my whole house, well, not, I didn't redo my whole house, but I did some fall decorating in my house. I showed you that I got a new chandelier and Randy hung the new chandelier for me. And it was just a very small snippet in the video. I really didn't elaborate. And some of you said, you didn't show us a very good view of the chandelier. We wanna see more of the chandelier. So this is what the chandelier looks like hanging in my dining room. There is a better look at the chandelier. Let me give you a close up. It has six bulbs. It's a farmhouse style, long and rectangular. And this is what it looks like from the end, just like that. I think the larger chandelier and the shape of the chandelier over my dining room table, it just looks so good. It just gave my dining room a new life, a new fresh vibe to it, and I'm super pleased with the chandelier. It came from Home Depot. I will link it in the description box below. I did an ASMR video, Day in My Life. You all were so confused. <laughs> Y'all were messaging me. What is ASMR? Like, is this some kind of marketing scheme? Are you trying to get me to sign up for something? So funny, the comments on that video. Even my husband did not know what ASMR was, <laughs> which I found hilarious, but I guess I only know what it is because I watch TikTok. But anyway, ASMR is all about sounds. I didn't speak in the video. It was just about the sounds of my day. I enjoyed it. I thought it was different. You all sounded off in the comments. Some of you hated it, some of you loved it. The ASMR video was just for fun, I promise. And Max, my sister's dog, spent the weekend. That weekend was a whole something and a lot of something, I'll tell you what. That boy is so big. When he was outside and he wanted in, he would jump up on that door and just rub his paws all over it. And I had to wash all of the windows in my house because, you know, my dog's slobbers are low, and my dog's, well, Maxie gets up on the window, but Pollock Studden, and I had to, all the way up to here, clean off all the Max slobber and paw prints. He had a great time here that weekend. He loved Earl. He absolutely fell in love with Earl. Pollock's a squeaky chicken, if you don't know who Earl is. And when my sister saw that video, she laughed her head off and she bought Max and Earl. And so this is the video that my sister sent to me when Earl arrived at Max's house. So, so 
cute. And I also told you in that video that Max was not wanting to eat. And we discovered that Max did not like his food. The food that my sister was giving him, he didn't want it. He wanted Maxie and Pollux's food. He wanted our table food. So when I told my sister this, she went out and bought two new brands of food and did like this little taste test thing with Max. Max picked his favorite and now Max is cleaning his bowl every single day. And then I did a live stream on YouTube for the second time ever. I went live and I did it from my office. It was a whole different setup. I had a ball talking to you all. And while I was on the live stream, I put up a poll. So everybody watching got to vote. You all have asked me to go live and cook with you live in the kitchen. Who knows how that's gonna turn out, but I'll do it. And I asked you all on the live stream, what did you want me to cook live? Grandma's muffins, banana pudding, or cookie bars? and you all voted grandma's muffins. And you all don't even know what grandma's muffins are, which is the funny thing, but I'm gonna do it. So Tuesday, November the 8th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, you can cook live with me in the kitchen. So watch my page, pay attention to the community tab, because over the course of the next week, I will be sharing information with you about that live stream. So if you want to cook live with me, I will share with you the list of ingredients you'll need to have, the temperature that you'll need to have your oven preset on, and all those good things. The date, the time, the link to the live stream, make sure to sign up for a notification so that you don't miss the live stream because when I went live last time, a lot of people got on after I'd been on there an hour. You all said, oh my gosh, I forgot, or I got my time wrong or something like that, and you missed the live stream. So if you sign up for that little notification when I post the link to the live stream, YouTube will let you know as soon as I'm live so that you can join and you don't miss out. And that is coming up. You're gonna be able to cook grandma's muffins live with me. And I am super excited about this. I hope it goes well. I hope I don't burn myself. I don't know, but Randy's gonna be in the kitchen with me. He's gonna help moderate some of the questions that are coming in from you all because I'm gonna have to be cooking and walk away from the camera and different things. But we're gonna have a whole setup in the kitchen and I'm gonna cook live. And if you don't wanna cook, that's fine but come on into the live stream. We can still chat while the muffins are in the oven. I'll be here just talking and answering your questions and we're just gonna do our thing. It should be a lot of fun. So Tuesday, November the 8th, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will see you in the kitchen. Then I posted a video about the saddest day of the year when we have to close our pool. A lot of you all sent me messages and said, where did you get your pool cover? I need a new pool cover. Unfortunately, I don't know where we got our pool cover because we, we went to our local pool shop. It's the people who put in our pool. They ordered the cover for us. It's a custom cover. They had to come out and measure the bolts that are in our concrete so that the everything lined up properly. So it's not something that you can just order online and I don't know how to uh, tell you where we got it. I'm sorry. So I did an Amazon fall and winter fashion haul. You all loved it. You bought so many things. And so did I, to be honest. That little tunic that I showed you in purple, I am obsessed with this tunic. I'm wearing this tunic, not exaggerating, almost every single day. So I went on Amazon and I bought it in oatmeal, white, black, and scarlet. I now have this tunic in five colors. It is so great. If y'all did not watch that video, or if you need a tunic to wear with leggings, this is an absolute must have. And honestly, I may get it in more colors because when I find something I love, I buy it over and over and over. And this is the perfect, perfect tunic. And then you all asked me in the comments, Renee, where'd you get those jeans you're wearing? I didn't even talk about the jeans in the video, but so many of you asked me that I actually put a link to the jeans in the description box. But in case you missed that, my jeans are from Walmart, y'all. Walmart jeans. It's a brand called Time and True. And in the video, I was wearing jeans that are the straight crop jeans, vintage wash. They have a raw, a raw edge like that. And they're adorable. I love them so much. I have them in two colors. This is the light wash, and they are a little more torn up. They have holes in the knees, but they're just the perfect slouchy, comfy, boyfriendy jean with the raw edge. And if you have never looked at jeans at Walmart, 
These Time and True jeans are $21. They are soft, they are stretchy, they are comfortable, and for $21, you cannot pass it up. I have four pair of them. The two that I just showed you, I bought them in black. These are not torn up, they're just a black wash. Look, hadn't worn them yet. There's the proof, can you see it? $21.98. And then I bought them in a baggy kind of uh, torn up, ripped up style. So the jeans are from Walmart, Time and True. I will put links to it in the description box below. You need to go to Walmart right now and get yourself some jeans. Then let's talk about the dogs. Let's talk about Pollux. I did a video where I got Pollux a new bed. I will tell you, he loves his bed. He loves his bed so much, he has torn holes all in his bed. Sadly, I'm not even kidding. This is what his bed looks like today. This is Pollux's brand new bed. Let me give you a close up. So both corners have been completely ripped open. The back corner has a hole. This one has a couple holes. This one is torn open and uh, little bitty holes just all throughout. Oops, these are the dryer sheets that I put in Pollux's bed this morning after I did some laundry. So that's the bed. His bed is completely mutilated. That bed cost $130. I'm not going to buy him a new bed. I'm just going to let him enjoy his torn up bed. He did it, he must want it that way. I'm just gonna let him enjoy it. So we ended up moving his old round donut bed into the living room along with Maxie's old donut bed. So they're both in the living room now. The boys lay in them in the living room and I got each of the dogs new beds. They are loving that luxe fur, the kind of silky soft fur. Maxie gets right in his bed every single night. His head is down, I cover him up and he is just in heaven. He sleeps like a baby. Funny story here. When we went to Lexington for the weekend, and you all saw the videos about that, we went to Keeneland, and then I shared with you what we did all weekend long, we had a girl come stay at our house, and it's a girl that works at our ice cream shop. I've known her for a couple years, and she stayed here and took care of Maxine Pollux. So before we left on our trip, she came over here, and I wanted to show her, you know, what the dogs ate, how to feed them, all this stuff, and I told her that Maxie will get in his bed at night, cover him up with the blanket, and he'll stay there. Well, when we got back from the trip and I saw her at work the next day, she said, I, I didn't really think you were serious. I didn't really think that Maxie would actually get in his bed and expect me to cover him up. And she said, but he did. We went in the bedroom at night. His, I pulled his bed out. He got right in it and snuggled up and just looked at me. She said, I covered him up with the blanket and he didn't move a muscle all night long. You weren't joking, she said. I'm like, I know. Maxie loves his bed. I told you that Pollux's hip was hurting or something was hurting and I was gonna take him to the vet. And I did and here's what I've learned. In a nutshell, Pollux's kneecaps on both of his back legs are popping out of place. Vet did a very thorough examination of Pollux. He got down in the floor, he felt Pollux's legs and hips and crunched up his knees and then pulled his legs out behind him and had me feel his legs and then he did an x-ray of Pollux from his hips to his toes. He brought me back there and showed me the x-ray. Pollux's hips are fine. He said they're actually fantastic. And he gave me all this medical information about his hips and said, hips are great. The problem is Pollux's knees. Pollux's kneecaps on both legs are popping out of place. They're popping over to the side. So whenever Pollux is laying down or sitting down and he, he puts his back legs underneath him to try to stand up, the kneecaps pop out. But once he's up, once he's standing, the kneecaps are in place and it's fine. It's just when his legs are bent and he goes to straighten them to stand up or to lay down, that's when the kneecaps pop out of place. And I saw it with my very own eyes on the x-ray and the vet put my hand on his knee and stretched and like did his leg and I could feel the kneecap come and go. So he said, most likely because it's happening on both legs, it's the same severity on both sides, he was probably born with the indentions where your kneecap sits just were not deep enough to hold the kneecap in place. That is what he's thinking. 
But because we have noticed Pollux kind of struggling with this and it's getting worse and worse and has over the last three to four months, he said that the area around the kneecap could simply just be inflamed and irritated, causing the kneecap to pop out more easily and more often. So he prescribed Pollux an anti-inflammatory. We're gonna take that every day for two weeks and see if Pollux feels better. He said the hope is if we can get rid of the inflammation, that kneecap will pop back in place and stay there. He could have just done something out in the yard. I told you all that I heard him yelp while he was doing zoomies one day. He could have just done something that got the knees aggravated and inflamed and it just kind of progressed and we're gonna try to roll it back and get the kneecaps in place. But the good news is he said Pollux is not in pain. This is not hurting him. This is more of a stability slash mobility issue that when Pollux needs to use his legs to stand up, his legs just don't have the ump in them to get him up because the kneecaps are not solid. And so he said, don't worry, we can address this. Let's try this anti-inflammatory, see if it works. Call me if it does, he'll stay on it. If it doesn't work, let's regroup and try some other options. Pollux has only had one pill so far. Our vet visit was just yesterday. I'll keep you all posted. Then I made my mother-in-law's vegetable soup. And I gotta tell you, here is some behind the scenes laughable moments. This is when I need my lemon emoji right now. Here's what happened. I had all the ingredients to make the vegetable soup and to film this video. I'm get, getting everything out, setting it on the counter, and I go to get my onion, which is supposed to be in the vegetable soup, and my onion is bad. I have one onion, bad. Can't use it, throw it away. I was not about to get in the car and drive all the way to the grocery to get one onion. I have made the vegetable soup before without an onion, it's fine. I had intended to tell you all this story and tell you when to put in the onion, but then after I recorded it and I was editing it, I just thought, you know what? This is gonna confuse everybody. I scrapped all the footage where I was talking about the onion and I decided to just not even mention it. My husband was so proud of the fact that I did a video about his mother's vegetable soup that he called his mama and he told Judy, you need to watch this YouTube video. So Judy has no idea what YouTube is. So he gets her on her computer and instructs her on how to find this video. He sends her a link and she's watching the video. She realizes I didn't put an onion in her soup. She immediately called Randy and said, Renee didn't put an onion in my soup. That is not the right recipe. So Randy calls me, I'm like, babe, it was, I, I know, I know, I know, it's fine. Well, she is very upset at the fact that there is no onion in the vegetable soup recipe that I have put out there for the world to see. And so she wants you all to know that Judy says there was supposed to be an onion in that soup. When you chop up the potatoes and you put them in the skillet with a little bit of butter and you let them get soft and brown for a second, there should be about half of a yellow onion diced very small in with those potatoes and it will be in the soup. You can make your vegetable soup with an onion or without an onion, both way, it's delicious. Fan Mail Friday, I did a Fan Mail Friday video. It was the last video that you probably saw from me in the month of October, and in that video, I said, I'm keeping my P.O. box open. I'm totally backtracking on what I said in the month of September. I am not gonna close my P.O. box. So many of you got upset at the fact that I was going to close my P.O. box and you love Fan Mail Fridays and so we're gonna keep it open. And let me just tell you about the whole fan mail process. My daughter's cats, Mia, Mochi, Milo, and Sasha. They will all be here for some portion of the holiday. So if you wanna send fan mail to them, I will make sure that when they're here, they get the fan mail. Pollux and Maxi love fan mail. However, they don't need anything. They really don't. I would love for you all to send hard bones, things that the dogs in the animal shelter where we got Pollux cannot tear up. If you all saw the video where I went to the animal shelter and made a big donation of hard bones that I purchased, those are the bones that they love. I will put a link in the description box below this video for those specific bones. They come in different sizes. If you buy those bones and you send them to me in our P.O. box, I will donate them to the animal shelter. Just think 
how fantastic it would be if I could donate like a hundred bones. A hundred bones could go to the McCracken County Animal Shelter for Christmas. Santa could bring those sweet doggies that are in that shelter over the holidays their very own bone. Let's do that. Let me challenge you. Send me as many bones as you can. I would, I'm loving this idea. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I would love to deliver as many bones as possible from you all to the animal shelter. The animal shelter where I got Pollux, the animal shelter that saved his life. I would love to make that delivery. So please, send the bones to me in my P.O. Box, Renee Hayden, P.O. Box 3482, Paducah, Kentucky, 42002. I will gather all the bones and I will personally deliver them to the animal shelter and show that to you all in a future video. Please and thank you. Now, we've gone through all the videos. The next part of this video is going to be teaching you all about some new things on my channel. I've been doing shorts and posting things on the community tab and y'all are so confused. I've got message after message after message about what are you doing, Renee? What is this? I don't understand. How do I use this? I missed out on this. And so I'm going to explain to you a couple things you need to know. First of all, when you're on my homepage for Welcome to My Curls, if you look up at the top, you'll see home, videos, playlist, community. Community. If you click on the word community, a whole new page will pop up. And this is where I can post special things just for you all that are not regular videos. I have been posting photos, behind the scenes content, polls, sharing things that I'm doing, asking your opinion of things. This is all found in the community tab. So if you're like, where's Renee? I haven't seen anything from Renee. Just go to my page click on community and boom, there is all sorts of current information. I'm always posting something on the community tab. The next thing is YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts is YouTube's version of TikTok. And YouTube has really, 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 really been aggressively trying to get its long form video content creators, which is me, to make shorts. And so in the past couple weeks, a lot of you have noticed that I have been posting shorts. YouTube allows me to take an old video and grab up to 60 seconds of that video and they're gonna play it in the version of a short. So the whole point of that is for somebody who does not subscribe to me, who doesn't know who I am, YouTube is gonna show them that short and let's say, for example, I'm making the chocolate chip banana muffins. Somebody sees those muffins and goes, oh, those look really good. I want to know what this video is about. Within that short, you just click on the very bottom and it will take them to the full cooking video. It will direct them to my YouTube channel. And there is also a link to the full cooking video found in the comments of that short. The very first comment, I have it pinned there. So a lot of you all saw the shorts and thought that I was no longer gonna post regular videos. I was just gonna do these shorts. And that is so not the case. I'm just trying to please YouTube by putting out some shorts. I'm kind of doing an experiment to see if I make shorts out of old videos. Can I bring new life to those videos and get eyes and subscribers from those shorts, so that's all that is. Now, we're getting to the good stuff. All of the good, exciting stuff that I promised you is coming up now. First thing I wanna do is give shout outs to my new channel members. I launched this channel membership in the first week of October and y'all have blown it up. I have so many channel members. This is so exciting. I love sharing behind the scenes information with you all. It's so fantastic. And so let me give a shout out to all of my wonderful new channel members. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much. Janet Hours, Sandra Garrett, from Studio Z, Patricia Duman Sowers, Deborah Musilite, Sue Contreras, PLM, Carolyn Edwards, Elizabeth Kleber, Carolyn Stone, JMV, Margot Levine, Kay Deal, Heidi Tubman, Melissa Hennessy, Rosemary Morgan, Linda Milburn, Rosie Lopez, Leah Diadamo, Nancy, Terry Berry, Margie Bowling, Rebecca Sobra, Nancy Massey, Stephanie Skowronski, Karna McPhillip, and Connie Frank. 
thank you so much. I truly appreciate you financially supporting my channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing because I am having a ball, so thank you. If you want to become a channel member, all you have to do is hit that little join button on my homepage. It's located right next to the subscribe button. Another box will pop up giving you all the information on the monthly membership to welcome to my curls. Easy peasy, simple as that. So in the month of October, my little YouTube channel had some major milestones. Honestly, some massive milestones. Some of them were so big, YouTube actually contacted me to let me know that I had hit these milestones. But in the month of October, my channel surpassed 65,000 subscribers, which in itself is just mind blowing. I posted my 350th video during the month of October. Whew, that is a lot of videos, y'all. But the big number, are you ready for this? My channel has amassed over 10 million views. 10 million views on my YouTube videos. You're the ones that have done that. I thank you so, so much. Are you ready for what I think is the biggest news ever, 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 ever on my YouTube channel? I think this might be the biggest news. One of my most proudest moments, one of my biggest moments to celebrate, and that is I have sold my ice cream shop. Woo, 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 woo. I know if you don't personally own a business, that is confusing to you. Why would I be excited because I sold my business? Well, that's gonna be another video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to tease it. Just know that I have sold Craving the Curls, which is a business that I founded and I started with my bare hands and so much blood, sweat, and tears, and hard work, and stress, and meltdowns, and all of those things over the course of the past seven years. I did it myself. I've been wanting to sell the business. I made the decision early this past summer or back in the springtime that it was time to do something different and that I wanted to sell Craving the Curls, and I have done that. I signed the paperwork a couple weeks ago, the official contract, bill of sale, and effective today, in fact. Today, the day that you are watching this video, whew, I am no longer the owner of Craving the Curls Road Ice Cream. Well, the lights are off, the sale is done, and that's all I can share with you for now, but that was the new owner. You saw little bits and pieces of him. Sale takes effect on November the 1st, so the new owner will be here. This will be his ice cream shop, and I'll be here working with him and showing him the ropes and all the things. So, yay for me! I am no longer a business owner. I'm going to do a whole video giving you all the details why I decided to sell it, what all went down, just this whole process, and explain to you why I would want to sell my business. So that will be coming up in a future video. So woo wee, that was a lot of information. That was a lot of inside scoop. That is what has been happening behind the scenes. I hope I have answered all of your questions about all of my 23 videos that came out during Vlogtober. And yes, I called it Vlogtober-ish because there were a couple days that I just didn't post a video. I was exhausted, I was out of time, things got away from me, and it did happen a couple days. But I hope you enjoyed Vlogtober. I loved Vlogtober. I covered so much content, I had so many ideas, I did so many different things. I'll tell you, it kept me hopping and I think it kept you interested and maybe we'll do it again next year. Or who knows, maybe I'll go back to Vlogmas next year because after all, I will be retired. Have a great day, you guys, and I'll see you later.